so hello everyone welcome to our channel so now uh, we'll start uh, by taking syllabus so we'll discuss unit wise so first introduction so here we have security attacks so in security attacks uh, we have uh, we need to discuss about interruption interception modification and fabrication next is security services so how we maintain confidentiality so what is the main use of authentication what is integrity what is non repetition what is access control and availability and mechanism so what are the security mechanisms we follow and a model for internet network security internet standards and rfcs buffer overflow and format string vulnerabilities tcp session hijacking so how tcp session is hijacked so what are arp attacks so what is route table modification so how a route table is modified what what is udp hijacking and what is man in the middle attacks so we'll discuss all these things in unit 1 so before uh, discussing uh, uh, let's discuss about the introduction okay so what is network security so we already discussed about introduction in the previous video so um, uh, we'll make it fast okay so uh, today's age is universal uh, electronic connectivity so when every activity which we are doing is mainly in the internet okay so whatever we do we do online so with this reason the online frauds have increased a lot okay so online thefts okay online hackers so hackers are uh, hacking your information so uh, how security uh, measures are to be followed uh, what security measures are to be followed so until unless we take security measures okay so we can't stop this uh, attacks okay so some simple examples are uh, online purchase using credit or debit card so you are purchasing something so uh, let us take uh, uh, your uh, e-commerce websites okay so there are uh, e-commerce giant websites right so like amazon or flipkart or whatever so uh, while you are purchasing so you purchase through credit card or debit card okay so how secure is your credit card or debit card okay whether your information is is been stealing by someone okay so you are um, using your credit card whether it is uh, secure or not so how do you know that so does uh, that particular e-commerce website is following all security protocols or security measures okay so the, is there any security certificate for that so all these things are uh, a major concern for us why because everything we do is through internet only is online nowadays right so a customer a customer unknowingly being directed to a false web so we are in one website so unknowingly uh, they will give some link and uh, uh, these hackers will provide some link and will click that link and we uh, go to some other uh, unwanted a false website link so that we we'll lose our data as well as our system will be corrupted so there are uh, a lot of uh, reasons okay so a hacker sending a message to a person pretend to be someone else okay so Uh, for example there are a lot of fraud calls are coming over this right so i'm i'm uh, so and so person calling from this bank please share your um uh, account number please uh, share your um, four digit uh, pin please share your uh, three digit uh, security code like that they they are doing whatever fraud they want to do and we should be very careful and uh, how uh, we apply security measures and uh, how uh, secure is our network so that's what our major concern is so network security has been affected by two major developments over the last several decades so first one is introduction of the computers into organization second one being introduction of distributed systems okay so nowadays there is no company that is not using a computer so you when you take a uh, mechanical company okay some organization so everywhere everywhere there is a use of a computer so nowadays computer has become must and should one and next one is and it's totally depend upon the distributed system okay so then uh, there is a major uh, threat of your information so we should be very careful with that so that uh, these two developments lead uh, lead to computer security and network security okay so um, 
this computer security network security plays a major role nowadays why because there is no security how can we trust a particular website while we are uh, surfing it and uh, uh, how to use our credit card or debit card information unknowingly without knowing that particular website is secure okay so whether they are following S uh, ssl secure socket layer so all these things should be keep in mind why we need network uh, information security okay don't get confused uh, your subject may be called as a network security or information security or cryptography or network security whatever but syllabus is same why we need information security so why are we striving our information to be secure so what's the reason for that so the major concern is threat so what is a threat basically so threat is an object or a person or other entity that represents a constant danger to an asset okay for example you are a person you are going somewhere okay for example unknowingly you met with an accident so that's a threat okay a constant danger to an asset so uh, you have on website so you are holding all your information over there and if there is any virus or if there is any uh, hacker hack your website so that means it's a threat it's a danger to your asset your website is your asset right so it's a danger to your asset so as per 2007 csi survey 494 computer security practitioners 46% suffered security incident 29% reported to law enforcement so uh, so these are based on 2007 csi survey but uh, we are in 2021 so you can uh, assume the count over there okay so average annual loss is 3 lakhs 50424 dollars as of 2007 but we can't uh, assume how much is the loss as of now okay right so 1 by 5 support targeted attack the source of the greatest financial losses so due to this our uh, threats there is a lot of uh, finance sorry the greatest financial losses so and the most important thing here inside a reuse of network access email threat categories so what are the different threat categories so acts of human error or failure compromises to intellectual property acts of human error or failure okay so due to our error or due to our failure so a threat may occur unknowingly uh, we may click some particular link in which hacker uh, injects that link over in the website so we unknowingly uh, click that link and it is our error so we should know we should follow some security measures for what we did we opened that particular link which led to damage or crash of our system right so it's it's totally human error so that is the error which we did so compromises of intellectual property so intellectual property is information right so you are holding some confidential information so if you are lose your information that means if you pass on your information your company's information to some other person unknowing unknown person then your intellectual property is compromised so deliberate acts of uh, espionage or trespass information extortion so information uh, how it is a deliberate acts of information extortion so your information is stealing your information is stolen so how are they stealing your information deliberate acts of theft deliberate software attack so even though there may be a software attack in which a system will get crashed so forces of nature okay so uh, due to nature also uh, a threat may occur okay it's not always a person okay so it's by nature for example if there is any cyclone or if there is any uh, earthquake your company is collapsed your building is collapsed then all your information will be lost your systems will get damaged right so deviations in quality of service so the most and important thing is uh, qs so qs is quality of service so if the if, uh, quality of service is not perfect then your network uh, may be under a threat so technical hardware failures of errors so uh, technical uh, 
hardware failures or errors in the hardware will also lead to this technical software failures or errors are technological obsolescence so these are all threat categories so uh, these threat uh, based on these threat categories any type of threat may occur okay now we'll see some definitions of uh, network security okay so computer security the first a uh, definition is computer security generic name for the collection of tools designed to protect data and thwart hackers so computer security is main have a collection of tools designed to protect your data and through unto thwart hackers so to stop hackers we uh, we they rely upon computer security as well as we have some collection of tools designed to protect our data okay so network security measures to protect data during the transmission okay so computer security what is computer security is it has some collection of tools which are mainly designed to protect your data right and to stop the hackers to steal your data so what about network security during online transmission that means your data is transmitted through online at that particular juncture what are the measures you are taking to protect your data so that is what network security is all about so internet security measures to protect data during their transmission over a collection of interconnected network okay so your data is trans uh, transmitted throughout uh, the interconnected network so that is what we call it as a network right okay so we have some uh, group of host and uh, we are uh, uh, sending our data and how we are protecting our data through the interconnected network so which is called as internet security so our main focus is on internet security why because every time we are relying upon internet right so whatever we are going to do we are relying upon internet so our focus is on internet security which consists of measures to deter prevent detect and correct security violations that involves the transmission and storage of information okay so if you see the diagram here this is intruder knowledge so low to high so who is an intruder so intruder is a person who is not authentic so for example you are working in particular company okay so you uh, you have you are maintaining one website and you have all the data over there in that website and for example there are 10 employees so you 10 your 10 employees are authenticated to open a website or you open the company right so whereas the 11th person who is not a employee of your company is nothing but an intruder okay for example we are staying in one house okay so for example if there are four persons in a house okay a father mother two kids so if a person who is not belonging to that house who is an outsider okay so we will not allow that person inside our house why because he is an intruder why are we not allowing him to uh, him into our house him or her why because we are not sure whether they may kill us whether they may uh, theft our home or whether they may uh, theft our valuables and they may leave our house or they, uh, they may uh, harm us or they may uh, give danger to us so they are all intruders so we will not allow intruder into our house in the same manner let us assume network as our as a house so we should protect our network so then the intruder who is always willing to uh, hack the network okay so what is intruder knowledge so this is attack sophistication so everything is high to low okay so see the intruder knowledge okay so here we have lot of this internet social engineering attacks sniffers packet scoping hijacking sessions automated probes or scans gui intruder tools automated widespread attacks widespread devois attacks so devois is nothing but denial of denial of service 
executable code attacks again browsers techniques to analyze code for uh, vulns without source widespread at widespread attacks using nncp to distributed attack dns infrastructure domain name system infrastructure okay so in increase in wide scale trojan horse distribution distributed attack tools ddos attacks uh, anti forensic techniques increase in worm sophisticated command and control so almost intruder have every set of knowledge every sort of knowledge on this uh, topic so that uh, how effectively he will uh, attack your network so the major concern is about internet security so how effectively we are how effective measures are we taking to protect our data or information through the internet okay and the most important is aspects of security so consider three aspects of information security so security attack security mechanism security service okay so i uh, will discuss each one so uh, in examination they will ask you like this so explain uh, write a short notes on security attack or security mechanism or security service or else they will ask you like this aspects of security okay so before going to this the students who are watching my channel for the first time i request you to please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends okay so consider three aspects of information security security attack security mechanism security service so what is security attack any action that compromises the security of information owned by an organization so any action that compromises the security okay for example an atm theft has been happened so uh, we will have money in atm right so uh, how an atm theft has been happened so even though we have security person who is sitting uh, outside of the atm center so thieves may harm him or thieves may kill him and uh, they get into that uh, atm and they, they can uh, uh, loot the money so here what happened the security is compromised even though there is security security attack has been happened so any action that compromises the security of information owned by an organization so information security is about how to prevent attacks or failing that to detect attacks on information based system so what is the major concern about information security here is about how to prevent attacks so we know that an attack has been happened so how to prevent that attack if if we failing that at least we should detect that attack okay so often threat and attack used to mean same thing so uh, we can call it as a threat or we can call it as an attack so it is the same thing so have a wide range of attacks okay so there are uh, two major things we uh, we need to discuss here so what are the different types of attack okay so they may ask you in examination so there are total two types of threats or two types of attacks passive attack active attack or passive threat active threat so what is passive threat so what is active so for example uh, this student is active in the class we say that that means uh, he will listen to the uh, faculty he will uh, answer the questions whenever faculty ask questions if i say that that student is passive that means he is not uh, putting his mind into the class he is thinking some other things even though uh, faculty asked any question he will not answer that so that is nothing but passive so active threats so active threats are denial of service okay so uh, if we depend upon any service that service will not work denial of service modification of message contents so uh, we have if we want to send one sort of a message that message is uh, modified and replay and masquerade so these are all active threats so what about passive threats here release of message contents traffic analysis so these are our two types of uh, attacks or threats now we'll see passive attack so uh, this is bob elias so bob wants to uh, send some message to elias on internet or some other common facility so there is one person who is unknown to bob or as well as elias who is called dark 
read the contents of message from bob to elise so this is called passive attack so what darth will do darth will change the message okay now we'll stop with uh, active attacks so what is active attack bob will uh, want to send an uh, message to allies through internet so in the meanwhile we have darth okay so darth will capture message from bob to allies later replay message to allies so this is called active attack so previously the same person but not doing the uh, things uh, perfectly so it's a passive attack so this is an active attack okay so these are all about different types of attacks okay so interruption we'll see in our next video so i hope you understood uh, uh, the concept so please uh, give your valuable feedback through comments so that i can uh, um what to say i can improve myself okay so the students who are watching my channel for the first time i request you to please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends and well wishers and please support my channel in all possible ways thank you thank you very much and have a wonderful day